Now, if there are those of you here this evening who feel that in some way there's the shadow of a curse over your life, and you want to be released, I want to lead you in a prayer of release. You remember the story that I told you of Miriam who read the prayer and was completely healed? Now, I'm not promising you healing. That's in God's hands. But if your sickness is directly due to a curse, if you're released from the curse, you qualify for healing from your sickness. So those of you that would like me to lead you, we just have a few moments left. <coughs> I'd like you to stand to your feet, and then I'm going to lead you in a prayer. If you feel there's some shadow of a curse <coughs> over your life, your family, your home, let me say, you really can't lose by saying this. I mean, you, you don't have that much anyhow, so <laughs> is that right? Maybe. All right, now, let me just very, very rapidly give you the steps I'm going to take you through. First of all, we've established a clear scriptural base. Okay, well, I gave you the scriptures. Now, you need to confess your faith in Christ, commit yourself to obedience, confess any known sins of yourself or your ancestors. And when we do that, I'll give you a few moments to confess them silently. Then forgive all other persons, and I'll give you a few moments to do a little forgiving. And then renounce all contact with the occult by yourself or your ancestors. Commit yourself to get rid of all contact objects, and then release yourself in the name of Jesus. All right? Now, I'm just going to give you the words. You're not praying to me. You're praying to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's the one that answers, not I. I don't have the power. He does. All right. Say these words after me. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you are the Son of God. And the only way to God. That you died on the cross for my sins. And rose again from the dead that on the cross you were made a curse with every curse that is due to me that I might be redeemed from the curse and enter into the blessing. Lord, I confess any sins committed by me or by my ancestors. I ask your forgiveness. I also forgive every other person, whoever harmed me or wronged me, I forgive them as I would have God forgive me. I also forgive myself. I renounce all contact with the occult in any form. And I commit myself to get rid of any contact objects. And now, Lord, having received by faith your forgiveness, with the authority I have as a child of God, I now release myself and those under my authority from any curse over our lives. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I declare release I claim it, and I receive it by faith, in the name of Jesus. Now I'll begin to thank him. That's the surest expression of faith. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's make our good confession. Ruth, come up and help me again. Now I believe you're fully entitled to say this. You know what we're going to say? Are you ready? Through, Through the, the sacrifice, sacrifice of Jesus, Jesus on the cross. We have passed out from under the curse and entered into the, and into the blessing, blessing of Abraham. Abraham. 
whom God blessed in all things. Now, it's a very good principle, which we did earlier in the worship, to turn to somebody and say it to them about yourself, all right? So find somebody, if there's just two of you, face one another, the three of you, face each other, and go, you're going to say it in the singular. We'll give you the words. Are you ready? All right. Find somebody to look at. Are you ready? Through, Through the, the sacrifice, sacrifice of Jesus, Jesus on, on the cross, I have passed out from under the curse and entered into the blessing of Abraham, whom God blessed in all things. Now, just take a little while to thank the Lord. That's the simplest expression of faith. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Remember, you've made the U-turn. Now, continue right in the new direction. God bless you. Amen.